Hi everyone, welcome to the last day of introductions for the Mama Elephant May 15th release. This is Rena. I hope you are all doing well and enjoying the release so far. We have a fun story and book theme release this month. Remember to leave a comment for a chance to win a prize from Mama Elephant. First up, we have Storybook Sayings. I've been using this stamp set for the past few days, but here it is officially. I will read the sentiments really quick. Hope your birthday is one for the books. To my book loving friend, wishing you season's readings. Dream big. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. A book is a dream you hold in your hand. I love making memories with you. You are awesome, true story. Have a novel birthday. Our story is my favorite. Wishing you peace, love, and all the books. Our life, our home, our story. And so the adventure begins. Here's to a new chapter. Your life is your story. Write well, edit often. Never give up on the things that make you smile. I would travel to a faraway land with you and wishing you the very best in your next chapter. My favorite one is the you are so awesome in parentheses true story. And then also I really like the here's to a new chapter. Here is Combo Square Creative Cuts. It makes a nice scallop border that you can um, use one color or two colors. We'll be using this to uh, make our cards today. So I went to edit this video and I didn't have a coloring portion because I had colored in double the images yesterday. So I would use them today. So the only footage I have is putting the cards together, which was like three minutes. So I'm like, oh, that's too short. So I decided to color in these images again, um, just to have more footage and just to do a little bit more coloring. I always feel like if I don't color in a video, it's like cheating or something. <laughs> so I decided to use uh, my Ohuhu markers again. I did receive, um, the colors that I didn't have. So I wanted to try them out and I did all this swatching and all of this. Um, and so using these markers is like a learning curve for me because it's a little bit different than using the Copic markers, but these are alcohol markers and for all intents and purposes, they work the same. The set I have is the Honolulu set and it is the one with the brush nib. So I was playing with these off camera and I was finding it hard to blend a little bit. So I decided to use two colors for, you know, blending. And first I kind of outlined the darker, what I think are the darker areas in the lighter color first. And then I'll take the darker color and go on top of the lighter color. Um, just so the darker color has, it's already on wet paper. And then I'll take the lighter color and blend it out. So that worked out well for me. And then I spent a lot of time <laughs> picking out these colors and stuff. And there's so many colors that are in like the, I, I believe there's 320 colors. Um, in the Honolulu collection and I just ended up using just the lighter colors just like with my Copics I have mostly all of them but I always kind of lean toward um, using the lighter colors just because it's easier for me I did uh, remember all the Ohuhu marker colors that I used and I'll put the colors that I used down below so another thing that I noticed about these markers is I was like kind of stressed out because I would pick a color and I looked at my swatch and whenever I colored it, it looked a lot darker. And I believe it's because it takes a little bit more time for the color to settle in and dry. And so when you initially put the color down, that's not the color that it will be forever. You, it'll kind of calm down after it dries and then um, it'll look a lot better because I, I kept like thinking oh no this doesn't look good and then I would add and add more color just to fix it and it was just too, way too much ink and so I figured out that you kind of have to you know wait a little bit for it to dry out and it'll be um, you know the color of your swatch. 
So I'm coloring all of these the same way. I will take my lighter color and then I'll lay it down where I think all the shadows will be. And then I'll take my darker color and go over the lighter color. And then I'll get my lighter color and blend it out. And then again, like if it doesn't look like it's blended, just kind of wait for the ink to kind of mix up and, um, and even out. And then also wait for the whole thing to dry. And then it'll it'll dry lighter than when you initially put it down. Sometimes I think it'll need more shading, so I'll put a little bit more of that darker color and blend out a tiny bit um, with the lighter color. So for the air, the inside of the ears and the face and you know the fur that is a lighter color, I just used the color E010 to just kind of um, fill those areas in. I decided to make the books a neutral color because I'm not sure um, what I'm going to use these images for. So I just kind of wanted to keep everything neutral. And so sometimes I went outside of the line. So um, there is a zero color, colorless blender, just like Copics. And you kind of have to push the ink in um, to get it back inside the line. and once again, don't put too much. You just like do it once. And even though it doesn't look like it went um, inside or that ink that you didn't want there to go away, um, it's still there. You kind of have to wait for it to kind of migrate where it's supposed to be. Um, but don't put too much because then um, it will like make everything bleed. Just like do it one time, push it in and then move on. So it took some time to figure out how I wanted to color and what colors I wanted to use. And I tried different color combinations. So it takes some time to kind of figure out a new medium, just a lot of practice and, you know, trial and error. Here's a look at combo square. You can make five different sizes. You would cut out that squiggly piece twice. You can color it in the same color or different colors. And it also comes with a square piece that you can layer on top for your images. So we're going to be stamping out the um, sentiments from Storybook Sayings. I did cut out that square twice so I can make a hill. I cut the hill using the landscape piece from Slim Card Basics and it's just a simple hill. I just needed something to have the animal sit on. And then while I have it, you know, all laid out, I'm going to adhere my images on. So these are the images that we colored yesterday using the Zig Real Clean Color brush markers. So we're making three cards today because I wanted to use mostly all of the images. And um, these were done on Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is a thinner cardstock. And I like my images to be nice and thick just to match the paper that I'm adhering it onto. So I like to cut out um, the die cuts again on the Nina 110 paper and then adhering the colored image um, that was on Bristol Smooth cardstock on top of that um, blank Nina 110, just so the images are nice and you know flat, um, and and also nice and thick too. So we're just continuing to stamp out the sentiments, and then while I have it on there, I'll adhere all of the pieces together. I'll adhere the back side of the die cut with the Nina paper and then I'll add, you know, glue the hill down and then I'll adhere the images on top. So we're going to put our scallop uh, panels together. So you'll cut two each of those squiggly dies and when you adhere the two on top of each other, it makes a nice scallop border. So I made one here with the two neutral colors. You can use whatever colors you want. That's what makes it fun. And then the other two, I'm using uh, the same color because I wanted the scallops to be uh, one color. So you can do it whatever way you like. So we're just going to repeat that process two more times because we're uh, making three cards today. So once you make one card and you're good with that design, it's so easy to make um, 
multiples of it because I think um, the time consuming part is just figuring out your design and figuring out what pieces you need and what colors you're going to use. But once you have all that down, it's just so easy to make um, it a second or third time. So I'm going to be taking all of my panels and I'll be adhering it to a four and a quarter square card base. I loved how these came out. The images are so cute and I just love the sentiments that go with it. And that is it. I'm calling these cards done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe. Happy crafting. Remember the release drops on May 15th. I will see you guys next month. Bye guys.